So, funny story. Back in 2015, I wrote a film that was remarkably similar to this one, and I never did anything with it, and now I'm glad, because as proud as I am of it, it would not have even come close to this. Quiet Place is written and directed by John Krasinski. It stars John Krasinski as well, along with his real-life wife Emily Blunt, and it tells the story of a family forced to live their lives in silence in a world overrun by creatures who hunt by sound. I was hyped for this movie since the first trailer. It's currently sitting at like 97% or something on Rotten Tomatoes, and I just got back from the theater, and I'll be frank with you guys. A Quiet Place is the best damn horror film I've seen in 2018. I'm serious, guys. I've been waiting to be blown away by a movie this year, and it finally happened, and I could not be more pleased. Not only is this the best film I've seen in 2018, but it is one of the most tense films I've seen ever. Right out the gate, this movie takes the it approach and shows you that it's not fucking around before the opening title even drops. And from there, it just throws you into this fully immersive, intense world surrounding these characters' daily struggle to survive this nightmare. And that's really why I love this movie. Yeah, it's tense and scary, but above all else, it's a really emotionally driven character piece. You really give a shit about this family, and at one point I actually heard several audience members crying. All the performances across the board are phenomenal, especially given that there's little to no dialogue in this film and all of the performances are almost entirely based on facial expression and body language. And that speaks volumes for the acting talents of this entire cast, including the child actors who both do an amazing job in this film. Also props to them for casting an actual deaf girl to play the deaf character of Reagan. For me though, the strongest element of this film is its sound design. I mean, oh my god, guys. I was absolutely blown away. Provided you're not in an audience full of dicks, which thankfully I wasn't, you're placed in the same world as these characters and immersed in near total silence for the entirety of 90 minutes. To the point where any noise that happens on screen, you immediately tense up, and that does not go away. And speaking of tension, there's a sequence in this film starting at the birth scene that you see in the trailers and continuing for about 15 minutes or so. It had me literally holding my breath, and I'm not joking. I don't know if you guys have ever played Alien Isolation where you can set it to a mode where the game can hear the noises you're making in your room and you have to hold your breath and be as quiet as possible in order to not alert the alien or the androids that you're there. It's like that. The choice to strip away all the audio tracks whenever the camera focused on Reagan specifically was also a really nice touch because it just served to pull you further into this world. And on that note, the world of this film is absolutely fantastic. The world building itself is just nothing short of brilliant. This film presents the world that you're thrust into through a really limited but still very descriptive lens. You can gather most of what went on through newspaper clippings and the way people act. And the way you watch this family go about their daily lives in total silence and the way they've learned to adapt and survive is really fascinating and really cool and well thought out. Using sand paths to walk on, painting the floorboards that are safe to step on because they don't creak, using soft materials and felt, like, pieces as game pieces, only being able to speak when they're closer to loud sources of sound like rushing water or a waterfall. They're all such little details, but they do such a good job at showing you the rules of this world and showing you how these people live and how they survive, and it's really fascinating, and it tells you so much with so little, and I love that. There are some little gripes here and there. I mean, the creature design is cool, but it's also a little derivative of things like the Cloverfield monster and the Demogorgon. And I mean, it might not have been the best idea for two characters to have a baby in this quiet world of silence. These aren't really issues I take with the film, though, and they certainly didn't have any effect on my actual enjoyment of it. They're just little nitpicks I had. Guys, at the end of the day, A Quiet Place is just fantastic cr across the board. It's wonderfully crafted, it's brilliantly acted, it's tense as all hell, and because of that, I'm gonna give A Quiet Place the prestigious honor of being 2018's first genre masterpiece. Yay! I'm torn between where the best place to watch this movie is, in a theater surrounded by people who are just as tense as you are, or at home in the dark with surround sound. I mean, obviously go see it in the theater as a means of supporting it because this movie absolutely deserves your support, but I'm really curious to watch this at home with surround sound once it gets a physical release because that's going to be a whole different experience. Take your significant other to see it so you can both cling to each other while trying not to breathe. <laughs>
As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this and you want to see more, click down there and like and comment and subscribe. If you really like this channel and you want to support it, there's a Patreon link in the description. There are some cool rewards as incentive, but guys, even a dollar helps immensely. Patronage is on a per video basis, but Patreon is great in that it allows you to set a monthly spending cap for yourself. So if you want to see me be able to improve this channel with new and fancy equipment and put out better videos for you guys, please consider donating. But even if you don't, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you very soon.